Frost Claw. Is it the best skill in the game? Hello, travelers. Boardman21 here, and today I wanted to discuss Frost Claw and why I think it is the best skill in the game right now. Now, when I say best skill, I don't mean the most OP, biggest damage numbers, although it can do great damage in the end game. I don't mean a skill that's going to push you to the top of the ladder, although it probably could. What I mean is, is a skill that is just so well designed that hands down it's the best skill in the game right now, and I hope that all other skills get designed to this level. Level. Now, I'm going to rate this skill and then go over why I'm rating it. The categories will be its usage feel, like how clunky does it feel or not clunky does it feel, I'll rate it on. Its synergies with other skills, the other masteries. Uh, of course, do it with flexibility and diversity, how many different options you really have with the skill and how the skill tree is kind of laid out really nice. And then, of course, I'll go over some of what I think are the most powerful nodes in it. Uh, and that skill being that powerful, what nodes I think might be the ones that get changed in the future, if any at all. So let's go ahead and start with the usage feel and just how good it feels to use. And I'm rating it a 10 out of 10. And the reason for that, you get it at level 12 early in the game and this allows you to be able to go from using a skill like lightning blast or elemental nova or fireball to a skill that suddenly has a hundred percent pierce can be targetable anywhere on the map and has multiple projectiles and what this does is it allows you to clear gloops and have single target all in one and it just feels good right off the bat you don't have to build into that pierce like you do with fireball you don't have to build into it being targetable like you do with elemental nova and it just right off the bat feels really really good to you so i give it that 10 out of 10 it doesn't feel clunky at all you can aim it anywhere on the map it has aoe on the way to get there it has the pierce so it can go through many enemies and all of that together not to mention it's an area skill so it has a bit of a hit area when it does land on enemies allowing it to hit multiple enemies it's just really really nice of course you can build it later into the game to shotgun and really do that single target damage but again just right out of the box without putting any points into it because you only have so many points early in the game it just feels really really good to use and that feeling of being really good to use goes well into the end game it's a very smooth skill to build however you want into the end game and still be able to use it the way that you want the second category that I'm rating it, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 for synergies because it has a ton of them. I mean, there's always more you could, of course, add in there. But what I really love about this skill is, first off, it not only synergizes really well with the Rune Master, but you can use it with any of the masteries for the mage and build it really well into any of the builds that you want to build on either the Spellblade or the Sorcerer as well as the Rune Master. And the biggest reason for that, in my opinion, is because it gives you conversions. You can do hit and you can do ailments. And basically build it however you want along with secondary proc so for instance it starts off as cold but you can also convert it to lightning you can also convert it to fire you can do ailment builds with it and even build into that ailment duration it could be frostbite it could be ignite you can also proc secondary skills such as like elemental nova you have ice barrage you have glacier a lot of these secondary skills that you can spec into so if you decide to go sorcerer you can really build into to glacier or elemental nova you can do it as rune master as well but it just has a really good synergy between those two and say you wanted to do spellblade it even has a chance on melee hits to be proc so you can use this as a secondary skill for say a shatter strike build on spellblade which is huge and then continuing on from there to flexibility and diversity, which is kind of the same, I also rated a 10 out of 10 there because of how much flexibility and diversity has. So above all those things, there's also other things you can do with it, such as if you really want to use it in that single target damage, you can shotgun it with extra projectiles. You can have it cast more than once when you're using it, which allows you to get even more hits on a single target, whether you're doing ailments or hits. That's huge for it. The biggest thing about that volley of glass is that it doesn't reduce the damage. You can also build it into reducing the mana cost and making it a zero mana costing skill so that it's a mana generator, synergizing it with some passives to give you a burst of, of mana, as well as a chance when you cast it to get mana back, which is huge, which allows you to use it to proc other skills that may cost a ton of mana. So those kind of flexibility options where you can basically play any kind of play style with it is why it gets a 10 out of 10 for me for that flexibility and diversity 
And what's funny is there's actually room on this page that they could probably fit in a few more nodes to even give it more diversity, but it really just doesn't need it. Overall, it can basically do anything that you need it to do with whichever element you want to play, which is huge for it. Next category that I want to talk about is the skill tree layout. I also give this a 10 out of 10 for it. The biggest thing, the number one reason why I'm rating it so high, there's no real locking of needing to put four points into something to unlock something else, which is a big standstill, especially early game for a lot of skills. There's some things where you have to put four points into a skill to unlock the next portion, and early in the game, that's a lot of points to be spending into one thing that you might not even need for that skill. In this skill, it allows you to convert to lightning in just three points. Same for fire. So within three points, not only can you convert to whichever element that you want, within five points, you can shotgun and have it doing a ton of damage to a single target. Within four points, you can have it double casting. Within another five points, you can reduce the mana cost down to zero. So like within the first five to six points of the skill, you can really start to make it take shape to whichever way you want to play it. And I love that about it. I love that you don't have to put four points into say ignite to be able to get some spreading flames like fireball. So it is a huge thing that you're able to do all that so early in the game and it's really thanks to the way they have it branched out. There's so many connections so quick so that you can really get to the direction you wanna go and a lot of them only require that one to two points. That's something that I really hope they continue to do and it's things like that that I really wish older skills like marrow shards, which you can put like seven points into it in order to have like a 98% chance for it to double cast or things that are slowly going away and I can't wait till they do because when those get replaced with skill trees like this, they just feel so much better. And then the last thing that I want to discuss is just three of the nodes that I think are the most powerful. And if the skill is ever judged to be too good, that these are the things that I think might change. Uh, number one is obviously going to be the volley of glass. Now, having all the projectiles hit the same target is not a new idea, and a lot of people love shotgunning. The biggest difference for this one in the game is that it gives you no damage reduction and no ailment reduced effectiveness, which allows you to do all of those hits and apply your damage and your ailments to a single target with, with just basically no reduced effectiveness. They just, it becomes that much more powerful. And the biggest thing with that is it's combined with the Hand of Mordidas, which gives it extra projectiles. So this skill normally has three projectiles. You suddenly raise it to five, and then suddenly you make it so where all five of those projectiles can hit the same target. Uh, which allows you to apply uh, a ton of ailments, a ton of hit damage. Basically, you're doing five times the hit damage by taking those two nodes from what you were doing two points before that in the skill tree. So very, very powerful. If they were to change this, I would assume maybe not add the extra projectiles. That's the biggest thing. Uh, even possibly maybe reduce one projectile to go down to two. So basically, the volley of glass would be doubling your damage by a factor of two, not five. Um, but again, I think the skill feels really good as is. It's not overly, overly powerful. So it's not something I feel like would change, but that's just where I feel like something might see a change if it were to change in the future. The other really nice skill I like is on through the stone. Now, while this gives it a huge mana cost, unless you really build into reducing the mana of the skill itself, which there are plenty of options for, including mana efficiency or just straight negative flat cost to the skill itself, I love the idea that you get a second cast, but it's not really a double cast from the same location. It uses it to kind of balance your skill along, which really makes the AOE nice, as well as gives you more clear in the map. So this is probably my second favorite skill right behind the Volley of Glass. And then my third favorite skill that I really like is the fact that you can proc this with melee hits. Um, the fact that this has this synergy and allows you to use this skill as a secondary proc for, say, Spellblade, whether you're doing uh, Mana Strike on any of the classes or Shatter Strike on the Spellblade, it's a really cool synergy that allows you to play a lot of hybrid builds and to build into either an extra dot applicator for those builds or just a little extra hit damage. Uh, the fact that you can scale this with Glammed Ring, which is my fourth, by the way, it was really hard to keep this out of the top three, but this spell damage converted by melee damage is a powerful, powerful node. 
Um, the fact that you can combine that, especially for the Spellblade class, those synergies, little things like that are just huge for it. So overall, I rate this a 39 out of 40. It's almost a perfect skill, but it's by far my best rated skill, and I do think that it is the best skill in the game in terms of all those aspects. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and as always, stay safe, travelers.